Hey, my pro allies, my name is Marshall Marty, and I'm Herman Norman, and, the, and today we are debating Game Engines versus Real Programming. So I'm going to be taking the side of Real Programming, and for the sake of the argument, the Herman is going to take the side of the Game Engine Advocate. Start. So the first point is a Game Engine. It's not Real Programming. It's not any programming. <laughs> no, it's putting your creative juices to work without having to worry about the pains of programming it yourself. On the flip side of the coin, real programming is hard, as in hardcore. Well, <laughs> you see, game engines can be difficult too. I mean, when I first got started with, well, I did I did scratch. <sighs> I got scratch move around the screen once. <laughs> it was it, it was a lot harder than real programming. I got I got to give scratch that. I mean, here's a plus for game engines: easy peasy. It's too easy. Take it from this guy here. I mean, dragging those puzzle pieces around the screen or connecting the dots, it's that can be pretty tricky stuff. So we've got royalty fees here. So basically what the royalty fee is, is once your game starts to get a roll and the money starts to flow, then Unreal Engine goes, hey bud, where's my cash? And takes 5% of all your gross profit earnings hey, from that. not all of them. Blender, I would say not with Blender or Scratch. That. That's a good point, but um, I mean, I haven't seen <coughs> any AAA titles with Blender at recently, and upfront and subscription fee. So what that is is once you you actually have to buy you know, like Unity costs. I know that that costs like if you're gonna buy it for life, the pro version, that's fifteen hundred dollars. So you can either go about paying for this upfront or subscription fees by either a slapping out fifteen hundred dollars cold hard cash on the table, or you can go about it by paying seventy five dollars bi monthly for I don't know the rest of your life. So let's do a little bit of math here. So let's just say you're gonna pay for this program for two years. So that's twenty four months times seventy five dollars. That's twenty seven dollars. All right, I knew that. Seventy five dollars. You're gonna be paying eighteen hundred dollars. So in two years. That's eighteen hundred dollars, and uh, how? Let's make it four years. Let's make it eight years, actually. That's seven thousand dollars. You can see where this is going. So once you buy into the whole game engine system, you start to become dependent on the system, dependent on Adobe Flash Player. So example, if you learned how to use Adobe Flash Player, you're a totally Adobe Flash Player fan. Well, bad news: Adobe Flash Player in twenty twenty is going to kill Flash. So, no more Flash. That means they're not going to let anyone download it or update it. So, an example of something really dependent on Adobe Flash Player is Miniclip. A lot of these games now are going to... Soon they're going to have to make the conversion to something else because Adobe is going to kill Flash. So, a lot of these like, games like Double Trouble, Block Sorts, they are written in Flash. So, what's going to happen to them? It's a good example of why you should actually learn to program. Because a programming language like C++ or HTML is not going anywhere anytime soon. With a simple, a real programming language, that actually adds to your resume. I mean, who ever heard of Microsoft saying, Hey bud, I like you. You know how to use Game Maker Studio. Uh, you know how to use Blender or Scratch. You're hired, man. With Scratch, you can actually do minor robotics with Scratch. Believe it or not. <laughs> well, for sure. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm sure there's a small minority of people who do that. But anybody who wants to go with some hardcore data science, I'm sure they're choosing Python. And machine learning for Python, I mean, can't get better than that. Who has not heard of the Go Pi Go for robotics, Raspberry Pis? It's everywhere. <laughs> and the last and final pointers, instant respect boost when you say, hey man, I'm a programmer. Little Joey's getting beat up at school. He says, yo man, back off. I'm going to hack your phone. I'm going to ruin your social media life. So just back off, man. That bully is going to drop Little Joey. Little Joey is going to have the best life ever. And everybody will respect Little Joey. Because Little Joey knows how to program. Game engines are excellent for those artists. artists. If, if you don't want to do the coding. Like some people don't. So according to a game engine. This is a program here. I mean wow. That's programming right there. So no, there's, the more advanced well, the squiggles. Right. The more advanced the program. Where do you go from here? What do you actually do to get started? Well, we started by looking on YouTube, and we started with with simple batch. I know batch only works with Windows systems, but it was how it was how we got started. We started just we eventually start turned to YouTube videos from the actual library because YouTube is the greatest library that there is, and basically for learning how to like it is hard to actually know what you are actually looking for. Like I mean. The, the library is only good when you know what you want. It doesn't help you get 
it doesn't help you know what you want. Our advice is start off with the low, with the small programming language like Batch or I know Batch isn't technically a language, but it's, it's a great introduction to variables. It gets you learning a little about how code works. So once you become confident with using Batch, then I would suggest we'd suggest moving on to something like Python. We'll include the, a link to a video that we did earlier on how to download Python and Pygame. Pygame, if you install Python, you kind of want to get Pygame for that game development. Because create game creation is a great way to learn how to program because it's visual progress. I mean, you can see it in your head. It's not just like little piddly stuff. So it's a great way to learn. That's how I learned. That's see if you guys agree if or you disagree or you have an opinion of your own. We'd love to see that down in the comment section. We'll be seeing you tomorrow on Ever Tech News Breaks. Marsh Mardia. Okay, that I'm was. <laughs>